to those disturbing arrests in Washington. The two men accused of impersonating federal agents and giving gifts to Secret Service agents are due back in court today after prosecutors described finding a stash of weapons in their possession. Our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, is in Washington with more for us. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Michael. This morning, the mystery deepens. Those two defendants accused of showering Secret Service agents with gifts and housing said in court they had no money for a lawyer. So investigators still trying to figure out where the funding came from and who might be behind all this. This morning, stunning new allegations about the two men accused of brazenly impersonating Homeland Security agents and duping members of the Secret Service. Allegations now sparking national security concerns. The men in court yesterday. Federal prosecutors saying that over the course of two years, Haider Ali, along with his accomplice, Arian Tahirzada, provided Secret Service agents with lavish gifts, free apartments totaling $40,000, iPhones, a flat screen TV, surveillance systems, and that Tahirzada offered to buy a $2,000 assault rifle for a member of the First Lady's protective detail. The government saying one of the men claimed to have a connection to the ISI, which is the Pakistani intelligence service, and that agents found visas showing a history of travel to Pakistan and Iran. Four Secret Service employees are now suspended. The investigation still underway. FBI agents seen gathering evidence at the D.C. apartment building where the defendants allegedly operated. And prosecutors say searches of their homes and cars have already turned up weapons, ammunition, body armor, gas masks, a drone, and a binder with a list of every resident in their D.C. apartment complex. Neighbors shaken. It's scary, like, you know, it's our place of living. I just came home and then they're just FBI agents and like, what's going on? A good question. A detention hearing is scheduled for today to determine whether the men should remain locked up. But with all those unanswered questions, prosecutors would very much like to see the men stay behind bars. Guys? A lot of questions. Something about that scenario just does not pass the smell <laughs> yeah. test. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.